Hey guys, I have a Weber Genesis grill and it's about 10 years later and these things are stuck. Like I can turn it, but they don't like lock into place. Look at this, you can't even push in. It doesn't stay at any notch. It doesn't even come back out. And sometimes they don't fire because, you know, if I'm pushing it, it's like I'm not pushing it. So nothing really happens because it doesn't pop back out. So I started by taking off all of the knobs. They just come right out. And you can kind of see the orientation, but there are two screws and you can pull this whole unit out. And then when you do that, um, you know, there's another piece in there with a spring that you want to take out and you just want to clean everything, grease it and put it right back in. I'm using a lot of Q-tips. And I'm using this cleaner right here. And some of this grease right here, this uh, brake caliper grease you can't take this in or out unless you remove that pin right there so just get some sharp needle nose pliers and pull that little pin out this little pin right here and then you can pull everything out and clean it so here's what a clean cylinder looks like I've used a q-tip and some of that cleaning solution to really get in there so here's what it looks like I just took it out first thing to do is get this pin out this pin right here so I'm gonna push in a little bit to kind of raise it turn it away and then just get this and pull it right out now I can separate these comes right off but all that gunk is on it so it makes it hard to churn so now I'm gonna clean it I'm just going to spray directly on it, on our towel, and then use the towel to kind of clean it, wipe it off. Make sure you're doing this outdoors. A place has well ventilated. So, this is pretty clean, as clean as it'll get. this with solution and I'm just gonna stick it right in. Wow it's pretty great. Look at this it's like black and I'll just clean the top rim as well. I know it's hard to see but guys it's pretty easy to do this and you'll save a lot of money. Okay that's that. Get some grease. Okay. Stick it back through. Spread that grease around. Okay, and then let's put the pin back. There we have it all done but you can see the movement is a lot easier than before and now I'm gonna do the same and clean the cylinder put the grease on the outside of this okay this has been greased I'm gonna Put this back in, put the spring, put this back in, put the spring, and then reattach that and we're good to go. Alright, I'm finished and you can see my grill is on and it works perfectly. So these, they all go in and out with that little spring. And there's also a, like a little feel when you get to this point, the high point. It's like a feel, so you know it's there and then you can turn it all the way off. I also replace the battery. It fires right up. This you just turn it and then replace it with the AA battery. So very worthwhile money saving maintenance for your Weber grill. Again make sure you turn off the gas, disconnect the hose even for safety reasons but everything works great. 
hopefully you found something helpful here uh, please subscribe and hit that like up uh, thumbs up button thanks